Hi Scorpio, welcome to your What's Happening in February general reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Scorpio. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear this message. So my intentions for this reading, Scorpio, is just to dive in, to ask Spirit what will be happening for you in the month of February, what to pay attention to, be aware of now, what to look out for, and this could impact any aspect of your life. Love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, but whatever Spirit would like to talk about shall be said. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card poll, go ahead and check the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you that are with me now, thank you so much for joining me here. It does help me connect with your energy to do this mini meditation. So first I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in, ring the sound bowl three times, and during that time I just want you to open up your energy to ask any questions that you have, and we'll take it from there. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Scorpio. Well, I first just saw a crystal ball. So to me, I wonder if some of you guys are getting some very strong visions, some profound downloads, may even be going through like a spiritual awakening right now. But I feel with that crystal ball, like there's something you're going to predict, Scorpio, almost. Like you knew it was going to happen. You didn't know when, but it just would. And February may be that time where it does. And then I saw someone like, looked like contemplating or thinking while like staring into a fireplace. Like someone could have strong fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone could be dealing with a fire sign, whether that's romantic or friendship. But it was like... I wonder if some of you, I don't know what the word is. I almost want to say like pyromancers, but I don't think that's correct. But someone that can kind of um, read visions or see signs from staring at fire that some of you guys may have that gift of. But it's like feeding the hunger. There is something that someone just wants and craves and needs. And just by staring at this fire, I felt like the built up. I, it was really interesting, so I kind of want to see how the cards are going to describe those visions I saw for you guys within this reading. Like maybe something recently happened that made you see clear as day of what it is that you need to put yourself out there for, to fight for, to be repassioned about. Again, I know that may not even be a word, but let's go ahead and check out the... Um, energy for you guys in February. What is happening for Scorpio? Okay, so we have five, 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 five. Clarity, major changes. Yeah, with that vision of the crystal ball, like something like either a sign or either a dream or either something that you are going to predict, Scorpio, quite literally is going to give you the clarity you need of what direction you need to go in, what you exactly you need to do. So it says, great transformation, major changes, opportunity, fast pace forward and process. You aren't a victim of circumstance. Rather, you are the beneficiary of it. If that weren't the case, life would be pretty dull. You will set yourself up for success in the long run if you are willing to adapt to the shift. Everything is working out for the best. At long last, you are accomplishing what you set out to do. 
everything will work out perfectly in the end. So February, Scorpio, buckle up. There's going to be some changes coming in your life. Some of them are unforeseen. Some of them are going to be everything you predicted with those like on point psychic, very in tune Scorpios here. But just go with the changes. And as you know, shocking as they may be or unsettling as they may be, this is something I feel like you knew was coming, even if you guys kind of forgot about that, or even if you just wanted to distract yourselves from it, you knew it was going to happen, Scorpio. And so I feel with this, like, the change, everything, even the good, the bad, the ugly, is all realigning you to your purpose in this world, in this life. Like, so just to be clear, there could be even just a need to move. There could be a need to change jobs. There could be a need to just give you that extra push from God, the universe, to put you back on track. Now, with all these fives here, your birthday could be November 5th, November 15th, October 25th for some of you guys here. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Scorpio. Tell me more about this fast-paced energy happening for Scorpio in February. All right. So then we have forgiveness. Oh, wow. Okay. Some of you guys, I, I feel it very strongly here. You're going to hear from someone you never thought you were going to hear from again. Or... um. You know, someone that always did something that hurt you is coming back around to apologize or to ask for your forgiveness. And that in itself is setting off like a domino effect of change that's going to happen in your life. Now, Scorpio, for others of you, with whatever's happening that's shaking things up, there may be something someone does that is going to change your view on them, is going to change your view on what you thought they were. But in essence of that, I think something karmic is coming full circle here for you to finally just say, okay, you know what? My suspicions have been confirmed. What I felt about this was right. I do see now that Whatever you did, you did it out of a vibration that I can't resonate with anymore. And thank you for, you know, showing this side of yourself to me or showing the truth of this situation. Because now it's given me the idea of what I need to avoid and what I need to move toward. It feels like a revelation here, Scorpio, for you. And I don't want you to be afraid of what this is to come because it, you know, no matter how unsettled you may feel from it, it truly is a blessing. It truly is leading you to close up a certain part of your life that was meant to be closed a long time ago, but has lingered. Wow. And forgiveness here, I'm just going to throw it out here because a lot of people get really defensive about the idea of forgiveness and I get that some people interpret it differently. For me, forgiveness is not accepting what someone did. It's coming to peace with what happened so it no longer can hold you back or have control over you anymore. Because there's so many things that we go through in our past that because of that, we're afraid to take that step forward. We're afraid to put ourselves out there. And essentially that person or that situation has power over us because it limits us. So with this forgiveness, Scorpio, I feel it's more so of accepting what has happened surrendering to what is going on and moving forward with a clean slate to leave any old baggage behind you so it doesn't manifest or thrive in February. I just feel like spirit is ready to give you a brand new slate in some aspect of your life, whether that's romance, whether that's career. We'll pull more cards to dive deeper into it. 
but I feel finally whatever has changed in your life or is going to change in your life is going to allow you to come to peace with an ending so you could start brand new. Wow. Okay, let's get into the tarot. Tell me more about what's happening for Scorpio in February around this forgiveness, around this change. Strength with Leo energy. Archangel Ariel, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. You, everything you've been through, Scorpio, you are someone that is undefeated, unbroken. You are someone that time and time again, with every challenge that you ever face, you overcome. And this time is no different. You are going to need to be courageous about the change that is happening. And although some of you may be a little bit afraid of how fast this is moving or um, how much it's pushing you out of your comfort zone, you need to understand that the changes that are happening are working in your favor and will eventually reveal that in itself as everything unfolds. And I kind of feel, you know, even in this depiction here, if you need to pause it, go right ahead. But um, the angel riding the tiger here is holding a shield. So, you know, whatever this may be, the transition that's happening in February may make you feel on the defense, but there's no need to resist it. It is divinely intervened. It is divinely guided for this to happen now, Scorpio. And you're ready for it. That's what strength is telling me. It's not telling me that, you know, whatever's happening in your life, you're going to fail at because you're unprepared. No, this is something that has been waiting to happen in your life. Spirit has been watching you and has decided that the change needs to happen now because you can take the next steps. You have gone through almost everything imaginable. And this change that is being initiated is going to prove how far you've come, how powerful you are, and how strong you are by how you handle the situation here with confidence, with strength, with grace. And I even feel like if there is a person, for those of you that I was feeling um, is going to give you an apology, they're, how do I say how they feel about you? They're completely aghast or impressed by your resilience, by your courage, by your strength. Even after what they did to you, you did not fall. And I don't think they were, you know, hoping that, but if anyone put anyone else to that, people would fall easily, but not you, Scorpio. And I think seeing how you came through the other side is giving them the courage to finally tell you what you need to hear or what they think you need to hear that will give you a better understanding of what happened in the past that you were so confused about. What's crossing this? The star. I mean, come on, Aquarius energy, beautiful energy here. Divine energy, hope energy, wish fulfillment energy, guidance energy. And it says, happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. So, yeah, truly, truly, truly. Even if some of you guys go through a breakup, even if some of you guys go through a job loss, I promise Spirit intervened in that in order for you to be further along the path that Spirit wants you to be on, that Spirit sees you being in, that your soul agreed to be a part of in this life. And, you know, whether you see it now or you see it in the future, you will see the reason to why it's a blessing in disguise. But this by... I can confirm for you, Scorpio, that these changes happening in February are meant to heal you, are meant to realign you, and are an answer to your prayer of wanting something to happen. This is the way it's doing it. 
And again, with the star card, I feel something in February is going to give you a major sign. So if you ask spirit, like if I see a butterfly, if I see a rainbow, if I see a storm cloud, I don't know, whatever your sign is personally for you in spirit, that this is right for me, that answer is going to be received to you. That this is part of it. This is part of the process. This is part of my healing. Why this is all happening here. What's crowning this? The Knight of Air, Gemini energy. This is someone who's brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. This is actually just kind of showing me how fast this is going to happen for you, Scorpio. There could be complete like overnight change even for some of you guys. And I feel with that, Again, with strength being the dead center of this, you are equipped to make the right decisions and choices of how to get back on your feet again, how to bounce back from this again, how to, you know, really address anything that is coming in to shake up your life. And I feel even if this is, oh, this is the king of air. I apologize. Aquarius energy, by the way. Um, this is even more of an upgrade here. You guys are... From everything you've been through, you have come to understand the bigger picture of things. And I feel that with this king of air energy, if you guys are this type, you are definitely one to see things out and to problem solve pretty well. And I think that, um, again, with all this energy, with the strength card and the star and now the king of air, this definitely is going to come as a next proponent of your spiritual awakening. A very profound spiritual awakening. I wonder if one of the most since you've had in a while, if not ever. And it's bringing you to a higher understanding. Now, some of you, the king of air is the one to apologize. They are wanting to, you know, clear their guilty conscience. They are doing it because it's the right thing to do. They thought this out for a very long time. And that's why they're coming forward here. They could come off cold. They could come off distant. They could come off um unfeeling but really i think they were trying to ignore the situation with you scorpio because before it was too hard for them to face but now they're ready to face it and i think spirit has been giving them that push to do so what's rooting this for scorpio <laughs> okay i'm taking it Five of air and ten of water. Okay, Aquarius energy and Pisces energy coming through here. So five of air, uh, unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. And ten of cups, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Okay, I'm just going to be real with this combination here of what I'm seeing for a lot of you. <sighs> Some of you guys did not have an ideal home life okay for those of you this is not your message hold up I'll come back to you guys in a second but for those of you guys that had like a very controlling family life or judgmental family life I mean even like a parent or a sibling could have been narcissistic okay it was very hard for you guys to recognize when you were putting yourselves in similar situations it's kind of what happens with trauma right it, it, especially if it's in your home life, it's so, it's made to feel normal when people are acting toxic or people are um, dishonoring you. you. You for a long time didn't pick up on those signals because you didn't know any better, Scorpio. But I think with this Five of Swords and Ten of Cups, with what's happening here with the change, I think a lot of you guys are going to see the root of why there was still like an open wound towards this. And yes, maybe this person like reopened that wound or made it deeper, but there was something more to come from that that you've been carrying for a long time. And through this awakening or through this change, it's helping you realize that, come to terms with that, but want something better for yourself. And Others of you, if you didn't come from, you know, um, a 
toxic family, let's just say. I kind of feel like with this five of air and ten of water, like again, there's going to be disruptions around what you thought was meant to happen. Again, but I know your higher self knew better. But it's like the ego thought it was going to be this exact way, but your higher self knew. You know, no matter how much you want to try to distract yourself with that, we I know your ultimate plan because I've been you in many lives, right? So with this, you know, cattiness and dysfunction and seeing true colors of people or seeing the true motivations behind people's actions through what they're doing in February, it's showing you what was never meant to be a part of your Ten of Cups, what was meant to be a part of your blessings, because this is destined for you, Scorpio. Long-term fulfillment, happiness, especially if you have a trine in water in your natal chart, okay? What's happened in the recent past for Scorpio? Ten of air. Now 1010 is officially here for you guys. You could be seeing that number synchronicity quite a bit. But it says the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. Gemini energy. So some of you, this change has already started to happen. You've already had seen it. You've already are seeing everything take place. But you've been having trouble understanding why. Why? Because it's clearing up things that I no longer need to carry, that I no longer need to have in my life. So something can realign me with what my purpose is. That's why you got laid off. It wasn't part of your purpose. That's why that person left your life. They weren't part of your purpose at this point anymore. So I do feel with this Ten of Swords, you know, the worst is kind of over here, Scorpio. And a lot of you I'm kind of happy to see are in the timeline where maybe these changes already started and you're going to see the repercussion from these changes in February. But some of you, again, like may, your company may announce there would be layoffs and you haven't had one yet. But even so, like I promise with whatever is coming, whatever is happening, it's meant to refocus you on what's more of your path, okay? What does Scorpio need to know right now? Five of water. Okay. Another five here. Things not turning out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. Okay. Then bottom of the deck, we have the two of fire. And this is you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. This five of water comes as a forewarning Scorpio. We can definitely get in our feelings when we start to feel like what we thought we wanted the most didn't turn out to be. And then we start to get pessimistic and then we start to, you know, vibrate in a lower vibration that is just going to attract more of what we fear. But what spirit wants you to know is that what's done is done. What has happened was planned. And it was never meant to make you feel like all you're meant to do is live a life of sorrow. It's meant to really just show you more than what you were settling for. Yeah, that's powerful here. Spirit, I feel, saw that maybe this was lingering too long or that you were accepting something that was not meant to be yours. So they had to put some sort of commotion in your life to realign you, to get you back on track. And what's interesting is that there's these two cups here still very strong. So if this is a relationship, whether it's family, romance, friendship, I got to say, like, I don't think they've completely done all the work to be a brand new person. You know, I, I but I feel as if whatever they have to say will be the words to help you move forward away from the past. And I think truly this whole purpose here, whatever's happening in February, that's asking you to have courage, asking you to have faith with the star, is going to show you that the past can be put behind you, Scorpio. And to a fire here, I do feel what's trying to come in once this is all said and done is new partnerships, new people that see your potential, that see your fight, that see your courage, that want to be on your side. 
because I feel like you guys are fighting for a comeback here. That's meant to happen for you. Wow. All right. I wonder if someone else has eczema. I know that's so random, but like dealing with eczema or like psoriasis or something skin related, find, um, you know, other sources than what you've been trying to do because a new source that's going to come in your way is going to heal that or be very helpful towards that, okay? Anyway, what else is happening for Scorpio and February spirit? Financial constraints, okay. So Scorpio, yeah, if there is a job loss or a redirection or a layoff, obviously that would pertain to limited resources, right? But I also feel with these financial constraints here, a need to save money. The spirit wants you to start saving up for something. And whether that's an investment in your own business, whether that's for a new place to live, whether that's a new car. Maybe some of you guys have been overspending a bit recently. And spirit wants you to get back on track of, you know, saving up. But yeah, I think... Also, some of you guys have come from poverty mindset, whether that's through financially your family or nothing was ever good enough in your family. And I think through February, what you're coming to find, what you're coming to realize, what you're coming to overcome, part of it has to do with not being worthy or not having enough. You guys are finally coming to peace with or coming to terms with this poverty mindset that some of you guys were even taught to have. And that will be resolved, okay? Tell me more about February for Scorpio. Oh, Akasha, wow. Yeah, you guys really are psychic, in tune, connected to the universe, and you need to reconnect again because spirit will love to help you in guiding you and sending those signs. Some of you guys, I feel the third eye chakra vibrating right here, are very clairvoyant. And it says, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. So Scorpio, what I'm seeing here for some of you guys, you are light workers. You are healers. And maybe some of you guys have been working the nine to five job, but felt more destined for something else. And some of you guys are meant to have like, you know, tarot readings, uh, be sold online, YouTube channels, Instagram channels, TikToks, whatever it is, you are meant to bring light into this earth. And there's something that you've spent your time and energy on that has been depleting that resource. So it's just investing in the right thing, Scorpio. But I promise if you use your abilities psychically, um, to heal the earth, you will be rewarded for it. And maybe spirit is trying to, you know, redirect you to this path that you are meant to be on because it will fulfill you and others in a profound way, more than I can explain here, honestly. I'm hearing something about Alaska. I don't know why, but it could be confirmation for someone out there asking for a sign. What is your advice for Scorpio at this time? This feels powerful. What advice do you have for Scorpios in February? Ooh, two cards. All right. First card we have is open your heart to love. Yeah. And it says, the more you open your heart and pour your love into your creations, the greater their life force energy. Let me tell you, Scorpio, you're more powerful than you think. I mean, even some of you are like, I'm a badass. I got through everything. You're even more than that, okay? And the energy you put into your creations, into your work, carries a vibration that is un unlike anyone else's. So don't be discouraged by the setbacks or what has ended because... Again, through what you've been through, you're able to resonate and connect with others. And I think even for some of you guys, if it's not so for much forgiveness for others, maybe there's something you have to forgive within yourself. And I feel even for some of you guys carrying some guilt 
or some hurt and you don't need to carry it anymore, Scorpio. You don't. We also have birth. Yeah, this transition is going to bring something new and exciting. And it says, new life, such as a baby, an idea, happy news, or an exciting project, blossoms within and around you. I'm telling you, this truly, truly, if anything I've ever seen of a blessing in disguise, this is it, Scorpio. It is giving you the new foundation, the new fertile soil to grow what was really meant to be in your life. I love it. And it's through this awakening, it's through this change that's going to give it to you. That's going to set you up for this rebirth of yourself. All right, Scorpio. Anything else you need to know about this month? So we have cilantro with letting go. Now I'm hearing let it go from Frozen. Okay. You all know the song. <laughs> but it says, trigger statement, this is not the way it is supposed to be. True statement, I am free. Lift up your burdens and allow the divine to free you from them. Allow yourself to be cleansed of anything that is weighing you down. Yeah, that's why this is all happening, to let you go, to help you surrender, to help you cleanse, to help you reborn yourself as Scorpios really do flawlessly. There's something new on the precipice coming into your life. And that's what you need to know about everything that's happening in February. It's leading you to that change. And I'm excited to see it. Thank you so, so much, Scorpio, for joining me for this reading. I hope it's giving you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance that you were looking for by watching this message in regards to what's happening in February. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.